I've been asked to give a reflection on Asian American uh, Month. Uh, my first is a disclaimer. I have no Asian ancestry in me, but I value diversity, and I think that is the prime criteria. I chose to live in Hyde Park and raise our children in Hyde Park because it is a diverse community. I belong to this church because it is a diverse church. Value in diversity is extremely important. We need to value and infirm all peoples. It's also appropriate that we look at diversity during this month. This month, the lectionary focuses on the early church. And the early church had a major decision to make. Whether Christ's message was just for the Jews or Christ's message was to be spread throughout the world for all people. And the lectionary talks about what and how they approached that. It's important that we think of that Christ message also as we look at diversity. I also attended the showing a week ago of the PBS documentary on the, how the U.S. treated Japanese people following World War II and the invasion of Pearl Harbor. People were put in internment camps simply because they looked like the enemy. Residents, many of who were citizens, were put away. They lost everything. They were moved into the center of the United States, into detention centers. The detention centers actually looked like prisons. They were removed from their homes. They had to leave everything behind simply because they looked like the enemy. The upset to their lives is just unimaginable. It was a tragic time in U.S. history and one we should never forget. I urge all of you who haven't seen the film to see it. It's on our website, I believe, and it was in our newsletter. Um, Pam, oh, I know, sorry, I'm skipping here. Um, U.S. history is filled with inequities towards many groups and many peoples who are different. And we must constantly be reminded and vigilant to value others for who they are. We should never fall into the we, they attitude that so many people have. The discussion following the film was lively and encompassed thoughts about other groups who have also been unfairly treated. It's important to talk and remember these things. We need to keep vigilant. We cannot put our guards down at all. In our church, Shig and Kyo Hashimoto were valued and important members. Many of you, I, as I look around, should remember them. It was a while ago now. I see a few heads nodding. Um, they were involved and active. In fact, the library is called the Hashimoto Room in remembrance of them. They were interred. They were moved into camps. After the camps, they came to Illinois and settled again. And they were, they met and were married. And they lived in Hyde Park. And they valued diversity. Pam, their daughter, who now lives in Arizona, was on the Zoom call following the presentation. And I want to close with a few of her remarks because I think they really tell the story. We were fortunate that my parents settled in the Hyde Park community, which welcomed and supported diversity. My parents were grace grateful they could raise their children in a community that indeed seemed colorblind in the days following the war. I commend you, speaking to the church, 
on your continued vision and mission to promote and encourage diversity and inclusion. Again, I urge you to look at the documentary, learn from it, help not to make the mistakes over and over again. If history teaches us something, we must learn it. We need to know. Help us celebrate our diversity. Our world is diverse. We need to be a part of it and value and affirm all peoples. Thank you.